Everybody wants to think of other folks during the holiday season, and they do, and they're always, all of them, all of the clients that I've assisted are thinking of how they can help the people in their family, in their small circle around them, have a better holiday, a more enjoyable holiday. Even some, how can I help put better food on the table for my children, for my immediate family. Uh, all of them are thinking about other people and, and that really that really strikes me as, as the spirit of the Johnson County Christmas Bureau. I was at a concert last night and she's like, I'm sold out to 13,000 people. And I looked around and I, that's when it hit me. I was like, this whole entire like stadium full of people is how many people we help during the holiday season. It's remarkable the amount of people that we can help. We want to help this community. We want to help as many people as we can. It's just having the resources to do so. There are a lot of low-income families that really do need help or people that did get laid off not anticipating that. If a family can provide at least you know a holiday season that seems somewhat normal that they wouldn't be able to have otherwise, I think that's you know very important. They come in with their appointment card, we check them in, they sit and wait in the uh, waiting area until a volunteer shopper comes and takes them through the shop and 99 times out of 100 they are so surprised at the amount of goods that they receive and the choices they have and they get to make their own choices and I, some of them are very surprised that we don't fill their baskets for them. We're serving two purposes we're serving those in need but we're also creating within the individual uh, a, a feeling of giving to others it's one of those organizations that just keep you going. And I think one of my favorite parts, and it still is, is that it's like run by volunteers. It's people in the community taking care of their own people. It's empowering, and I think it, it makes people realize you can do a little bit and make a big difference. So I got sucked in really fast, and I, I don't leave. I just keep coming back. <laughs> Last year we had um, a woman come in with her daughter, and she was probably, the daughter was probably 13 or 14. And they came in and they, um, they checked in and they sat down and she said, no, um, I'm gonna, I need to leave because I don't, there are people who need this more than I do. And I don't think I'll ever forget that feeling. And she was just worried that she was taking something that somebody else needed more than she did. And she was in a situation that she needed, needed it too. That's why she was here. Hi, we're the Garners. We do it at the holiday season. That's why we call our shop the Holiday Shop. Bear with me. Times are even tougher than for them. How, how are they gonna get gifts for the children? How are they gonna put a Christmas dinner on the table? Not easily. So we help them do that. They receive food, they receive clothing, they receive gifts, they receive uh, teen items, and of course our personal care items and many other things that they really can't afford to get. I remember the toy that I gave my daughter. Um, it was it was stuffed animal. And that was my first shop time and um, I walked to the, the gift area and found this stuffed animal in this cardboard box shaped like a doghouse and on that doghouse it had the name Jingles so I opened up that box and I pulled out that dog and I just held it and it jingled well at the same time my daughter um, wanted a dog a real dog and I knew that I couldn't afford to feed another mouth so I was hoping that that stuffed animal would have made everything perfect for her Christmas and Sure enough, it was such a perfect gift that she still has him today on her bed. Um, she was three at the time and now she's 27 and she still has him. The Christmas Bureau means to me um, the start of my son. He was five months old when the Christmas Bureau came into my world. The neat thing is it wasn't just clothing, you know, it was food, you know, the main things that are necessary for us. I've volunteered for a year now uh, with, uh, I work at Eastgate Laundry and we've been doing coats. And that is my way of returning what they've given me, which is the world.